another quick update. So we've got the prototype autopilot panel precariously balanced over here. We've got, what I've done for now is I've just done the AP106 portion of this panel. So we've got the six mode buttons and we've got the on off switch. We've got an LED for each of those. So we've got on off. So green is on, white, we don't really need an LED for off, but uh, and it's very bright that one, <laughs> it's a white one, uh, but, but it's there for the moment. We've got the mode buttons, so if we go for, and, and these are in the same pattern as the, you may not see this very well in the video, but they're the same pattern as the array of buttons here, so top left is the heading mode, heading on and off, and these modes work without the autopilot master switch being on, that's normal. So heading, nav, approach, back course, switches approach on as well, back course off, approach off, indicated airspeed hold, altitude hold. We've also got two extra LEDs, red ones for the trim up and trim down indications. If I just take off briefly, you might see those things happen. So I haven't implemented these autopilot indicators for now, nor have I implemented the altitude alerter indicators. You know, essentially that's identical to what I've done here. So there's, in terms of prototyping, there's no need to do that. I'm going to move straight to, you know, doing this for real. And actually getting this to work was almost trivially simple. And I think Air Manager is, for now, definitely the way to go. You know, hooking those things up, particularly if you've already got a gauge, which I have for the autopilot, built in Air Manager, because the logic is identical. You can go into that gauge, take the same logic, and instead of showing and hiding the various images, you just flick the LEDs on and off. I think the next thing I'll do is have a go with one of the seven segment displays, and then we'll be back with that. So I've just got to solder the header onto this display. We can put that on a number of ways. I'm going to put it on the back side. done this completely wrong. Okay, bit of a dog's dinner but we got there in the end. Got the header on here. That's the display wired up now. Got a ground wire plus five volts and three signal wires just going into pins 14, 15 and 16 arbitrarily on the Arduino. So next step complete, we've got the altitude alerter readout over here. Hopefully you can see that. And the other thing I've done is I've taken away the LED for the autopilot disengaged and I've replaced it with the altitude alert signal light. That's the light that goes on a thousand feet before the selected altitude and stays on till 300 feet to go. So all the buttons are still working the same as before, but you should, should see I can pre-select that altitude and it's following faithfully what's on the display there. I guess in the air then I'll zoom in on that display so you can see a little bit more closely. So we're up, we're going to go straight onto autopilot. We'll select heading mode first of all. Oh, we got ice already. We'll leave it at 3000 just for now. Click altitude alert. So we should be getting a, an indication on the the lamp and a chime. There we go. We should see that blue light go out at 
2700. There you go, following the indicator on the altitude alert, it switched to altitude hold on the autopilot, which you would have seen over here. And we might see some trim indications those red LEDs as we level out. If we dial in 5000 and press MDA, that should start us upwards. Altitude hold is now on with 5000 set. Still on heading mode. Let's go to Skagit Regional on the GPS. So we've got altitude hold on, we've got nav hold on, we've got 5000 dialed in, we're just acquiring that now, so we'll see some trim indications. So that's about it for now, I think we've well and truly proved the concept. The one thing that I was reassured about was, I did worry that because this runs the panel, the new panel from the Air Manager PC, uh, there'd be some latency involved, particularly in dialing in the, the altitude, but also the, the buttons. I was expecting some lag, because in a sense there's a round trip required. So if you think about it, you know, you take an action here, it goes into the ordinate board, then into P3D via Linda, and then the Air Manager PC notices across the network a change in a, a value it's monitoring then it adjusts the indicator whether that's an LED or the LED display on the Arduino. So we've actually got you know, two networks and three computers involved here. <laughs> um, there's already some latency with Linda. You know, from time to time you'll, you'll see a lag creep in when I adjust something like the altitude alert or the heading bug anyway. But we don't seem to have introduced any extra latencies, certainly nothing detectable by managing the outputs in this way. So I'm reassured by that and I think we're going to go full steam ahead with this Air Manager version of implementing these output panels. And again, you know, putting this LCD display in there, it's almost trivially simple. I'll just quickly show you the Lua code for this particular function. You know, there's almost nothing to it. You watch a particular value or set of values here in this case because we're being slightly sophisticated where you know, we don't need to do this but we're checking to see if the power's on or off and, and modifying the behavior accordingly but really everything's done for us we just the only sophisticated part here is formatting the output string I've chosen to output this as a decimal number using a decimal point in place of the comma so 3000 feet is displayed as 3.000 and so the next thing to do is to go ahead and design the layout for the the new panel or panels. I haven't decided yet whether to make everything in one panel which which would probably be slightly bigger than this. This is 10 centimeters wide and 15 tall. I'm not sure yet so that's that's something to to think about. So I'll do a bit of design thinking on that then I have to get the acrylic panels and then just do all the usual tap dancing, drilling the holes and um, mounting everything in there. I want to think how to do the indicators so they look nice, kind of like the ones on the panel, on the Air Manager panel. But uh, anyway, that's a work in progress, and uh, more soon.